Do you think that front straps will help you in subfoiling, bringing up the foil? Or will it be more a hindrance because you will manipulate the foil? This is the question of this video and I hope I can give you a little bit of hint and I'm also asking for your opinion and your wisdom to it because I guess we are all much more, we can progress faster if we all work together. So unfortunately I deleted my session number 8 which annoyed me really much so this time it's already session 9 and I'm putting it together with session 10. In session 9 I did the whole session with the front strap and in session number 10 I will do the whole session without the front strap. Here you can see it was a bit tight and sometimes when falling, especially with winging, if your front strap is too tight, it's really difficult to get out and when you're falling, it's not a nice thing. So the good thing about the front strap, as you can see, is I can lift the foil and I can much easier initiate the pumping because I can kind of um, bring the foil up much better if I wouldn't have um, a front strap. The downside, I guess, as you can imagine, if you pull up the the wing too much or like the front the front part of the board, you will stall the foil. And the temptation is really there to pull it up too early and you don't have enough speed. So kind of while pulling up the board, you will pull up the front wing and it will stop gliding. So this is the downfall. The second downfall or neck, um, I would say disadvantage is with the front strap, it's really easy to correct like still a paddling in a circle because you can control the board much better. It's an advantage, you're not going that much in circles, but it's also, I think, correcting the direction of your foil of your board is like a little bit of cheating, of course, and it's a little bit of losing energy. So this is like the whole session on the front strap. I'm really interested to know your opinions. Will it make it easier? And then the third thing I noticed is the position of my leg. It, those straps I think are made for wing foiling, so they are a bit more sided, a bit more to the right or to the left. So with the other foot that I have, I need to counterbalance it kind of. So I'm not standing completely straight on the board, but it's more that one, the front foot is more to the right and then um, the back foot is a little bit more to the left. So I'm not sure whether this is the best thing to do, but this is basically session number nine with the front step. And then in a few seconds, you will see session number two with how to strap. Without a strap, I would say you are much more aware of your paddling technique in that way that you're going a bit more in circles and you cannot pull up the front wing too much but on the downside it's much harder to initiate the pumping and it's much harder to bring the foil up. So I'm really interested to know your opinion, you can see the full session and then at the very end of the two videos I will try to put it in a split screen so that you can compare the paddling up. In this session I waited again for the wake of the ferry but it's really really difficult because the ferry is very slow and very small. I'm paddling much faster than the wake is traveling so it's not really a great help to support it. And now at the end the promised like split screen of the strap and without the strap paddling. It's really difficult to decide what clip you pick from the whole session and that it has kind of the same angle and so I tried my best but basically the comparison I think is that with the strap I can pull the foil the board up a bit higher but it also I guess 
and slows me down a bit. Without the strap, I can't pedal that fast. So these are my thoughts. If you have any thoughts and recommendations, I'm really interested to know also the physics behind it. Otherwise, thank you for watching, for commenting. Have a great day and may the foil be with you always.